the it state's is no right government to right. decide what marriage is. It is no God, government's God. right to determine right. what two Enough individuals do. <laughs> Enough of this. This is silly. Hey, yes, he's a very silly guy. We're not going to be. Based on your premise, should a state be allowed to ban heterosexual marriage? Sure. Okay. They can. What does that prove? No, no, no. Listen, listen, this is a dumb conversation. <laughs> this, guy's got, this guy was raised, I don't know where, but maybe in Delaware. Kentucky or some Delaware. shit. Alan, what? You know, I'm just looking at Rush Limbaugh's website, and of course, third paragraph down regarding the, you know, Scooter Libby thing, it's the whole Martha Stewart thing. Right, like, the like, Martha Stewart argument. Gary, I, I swear on the life of my children, I have not listened to Rush Limbaugh so for three think, days. You guys just think exactly alike. Maybe. Position. Maybe. Well, he's been so programmed, and you know you've heard Rush Limbaugh. So again, the Republican is programmed, was... but you liberal free thinkers no, you are, are so programmed. Great. You are programmed. As soon as Rush Limbaugh went bald, this guy goes bald. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. Thank you, Scott. You're very My welcome. director. Thank you. All right, here's hey, a different view. Bald fuck. Right. <laughs> I'm not leaving until Fred stops. Fuck <laughs> out. <laughs> Baldy, Baldy, he's a Bald TV director. Baldy, Baldy, he's a Bald TV director. All right, nice. All right, let's get over to John Hine, who hosts a wrap-up show every day. Johnny Boy at 11 o'clock. It's your turn. What's up? Well, Will the Farter tried out a whistle and a harmonica, serenaded George Takei with Mary Had a Little Lamb. <laughs> And try to hit Richard with some shit freckles. We'll discuss Will's appearance, how Richard's holding up after having his head shoved into a farter's ass, and how Sal performed so well on that quiz. Okay. Also, Howard wondered if he could work with Jackie again, and everyone reminisced about how tense things were when Jackie was around. You remember Gilbert? Oh, yes. Gilbert used to get very upset. <laughs> he hated doing the show. That's right. Well, we'll talk more about how Jackie was on a daily basis. If Robin is clearing a path for Artie to join him and take calls <laughs> to speculate on how things would go if Jackie came back into the studio for just a day. Uh, we would be welcome him with open arms. If, I, if I left, would we be living together? <laughs> <laughs> it could happen that way. Also, a recently married Gilbert Gottfried filled us in on his wedding and future as a father, but still hasn't referred to his better half as his wife or touched her pregnant stomach. Can you believe that? No. <sighs> Touch he, the stomach, I'd be a little freaked out. He hasn't had right. sex. You wouldn't touch your wife's stomach? I, I guess I would because you have to. You no, know? but if, if there's a baby in there, you wouldn't want to like feel the foot pressing against the belly and stuff? Am I crazy? Marty, you want to be a dad one day. Right. You're going to be so excited when you finally find somebody you can knock up that you're going to be wanting every experience. Gilbert's like, I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this I have to hear. Well, when it's a kid, when it's an actual kid, I might be into it. Not when it's covered by my fat wife's stomach. <laughs> Gilbert, do you... He's a man next to my own. <laughs> do you can picture like you holding the baby when it's born and like rocking it? Do you feel singing any... to it? No, I'm, I can picture Artie doing it. Okay, no, that we, I would do you love think it. you'll even hold the baby? As long as it's two gay guys doing it. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, Gilbert, do you think you'll hold the baby? Maybe. I hmm. don't know. I you guess I'll have the, to. Do you think you'll give the baby kisses? <laughs> do you? We'll see when that happens, wow. yes. Will you teach the baby how to do the aristocrats job? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, this is a disaster. Do you want your little baby to be a comedian? Oh, oh, boy, that would be, yeah. <laughs> what a great life. <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey Jr.? I'm, uh, I'm quite frankly worried about this. Yeah. I see Gilbert's kid in like 15 years being like a player, like at the clubs, making. Well, yeah, well, you gonna get yeah, the old man's be, money. Yeah. He'll do everything Gilbert wished he could have done. He'll be cool with yeah. shit. I hope, the, I hope the kid is really super good looking yeah. and gets yeah. laid all the time, and Gilbert be jealous. Right. That'd be good. All right, go ahead, Johnny. Well, we're going to talk about how Gilbert sounded today. If George might possibly think that he looks a little bit Asian, <laughs> and take calls on whether he's the most unhappily married man and expected father we've ever heard. Absolutely. And let. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. And last but not least, after looking George in the eye, was has Scott DePace changed his mind about gay marriage and what would happen if his son brought a man home for the holidays? Notice when a gay man was in the studio, his his tune became a little softer. You right. understand? Did he look you in the eye, George? No. Oh, he certainly did. Oh, he did? He did. Well, we yeah. made him. 
Yeah, he, he, didn't didn't choose yeah, he to was do that. Be brawl beaten into that. Artie, why aren't you eating your cupcake? What's going on? <laughs> I don't like that cake. You don't like that Oh, time. that was my gift to you. Yeah, it's I was cat. passing I by there, and there was that beautiful looking cake that I thought you'd enjoy. I don't already. like the carrot cupcakes. You, you don't like, oh, it's too healthy. No, <laughs> I just, I don't think, I never like carrot cake. Carrot right? cake is what I would eat, and I thought maybe. Well, you eat it good. <laughs> it's got that white cream on it you love so much. <laughs> well, you like that orange stuff on top, don't you? Uh, no, you can, <laughs> you can lick it off. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, anything else, Johnny? Well, we're going to let DePace come on and speak his mind and take calls to see if he has any support whatsoever out there. All right, I'm sure he does. That's all in a wrap-up. All right, thank you very much, John Hine. Let's go right over to Robin Quivers, who looks beautiful today and is ready to report the news. I can't believe what a Neanderthal Scott DePace is. I would mm -hmm. love for my son to have a gay He's unbelievable. boyfriend and come home. I don't say he necessarily <laughs> would love it, but it doesn't have to be a, a thing where he wouldn't let him in the house. Oh, I'd love it. And you don't want your son to be in a love Loving relationship. Be the well, you friend. know, wait now, a second. What we're up against. Artie, you wouldn't let your son in the house if he was gay? I would I would love it. I would want I didn't say you'd love it. I would I want that kid to get fucked in his ass so hard. <laughs> oh. I'm just I'm trying <laughs> to get a job in show business. <laughs> No, I would never. No, There's no son. There's no, and I think Scott has changed. There's no circumstances where I wouldn't let my kid in the house. Gay, well, you know, you deal with well, it. Well, there gotta, are parents who do that. You got to keep loving. I mean, there are so many child. runaway kids, and they, you know, come to Hollywood and New York. Right. And it's really a tragic sight. And they get on Star Trek. <laughs> no, no, many of them, you know. Get into dope. No, that's hard. They, they get are. into dope. They go on the street and they're sucking that's some right. old queen's cock for money. That's right. That's right. You don't that's want. Really I don't want. Him, I don't want them doing that. All right. right. So then you'd be nice so to your be kid. a good father. I would always be. And I. Put, right. I think you guys didn't let Scott get out. That I think he says he would. Be. No. 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 Him. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. He, he didn't? didn't say that. He, he wasn't on the way either. He danced around it. He didn't want to answer that. <laughs> Let's go to Robin Quivers, who has the news. Let's get down into some topics here. I like the close up of his book. That was good. <laughs> oh, poor Robin. Every day. <laughs> it's the only way they can get to the <laughs> Is that why you have the glass walls yes, surrounding yes. you? <laughs> <laughs> You get a good riff, you stick with it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't change lyrics. it no matter what. All right. Uh, the Daily News has come up with a list of the top 50 albums of all time. Really? Well, the top album of all time. Super Soldier Serum. <laughs> no. Good reaction to the Nazi. <laughs> And so he could, he was the ultimate human. He could uh, bench press 1,100 pounds, run a mile in about a minute, and outsmart, outsmart any spy. So uh, that was his claim to fame. He didn't really have any superpowers, but they have killed him off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He he's dies well, that means no in the latest episode. <laughs> So, I, I, you know, they brought back Superman. The question is, will there be another Captain America? First of all, if you're making up a guy, why stop at 1,100 pounds he can press? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was a method to his madness. All right. Uh, Every black guy on the planet can bench press 1,100. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they had to kill off except the guys Captain on the, America. Except the guys on the Jets' front line. Anyway. <laughs> uh your daughter's in high school. Okay. They give her excerpts from the vagina monologues to read. Go ahead. But they tell her she can't say vagina. No, that's crazy. That's that's silly. Well, that happened at a Westchester uh, public high school, and now they've suspended the three girls who disobeyed the rule and actually said the word vagina together. Could you say while pussy? While they were reading the vagina monologue. Just say pussy instead of uh, vagina. You can say cunt, but you can't <laughs> say vagina. Uh, yeah, told it was you just, that ahead of time. That's right. They should have used another word. Yes. <laughs> right. 
that it's, song? It's the Cunt Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the principal's head would have exploded if they did that. I'll tell you what, that title's got a way better ring to it. The Cunt Chronicles. <laughs> better I could see that. Yeah, I would, too. I actually saw the vagina monologues. Oh, yeah, yeah it's no. a wonderful I think you play. went with your daughter, right? That sounds like torture. Well, are you having a daughter? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, Get ready. You gotta do shit like that. <laughs> oh. You gotta relate to your girl. Or a gay son. <laughs> <laughs> when I wonder the last play George hated. What? Everything's wonderful. Oh, no, no, there's some pretty bad plays. Well, two man, bad plays. I am a, um, you know, you forget one the bad One man ones. fell in love with a woman. <laughs> what? Um, uh, the one with Cherry... Uh, Jones. Cherry Jones? Yeah, uh, that, uh, and, you know, uh, three people. All... Doubt? No, no, no. Oh, that was that brilliant. That was wonderful. That was okay. brilliant. <laughs> she did, the one she did after that. Well, actually, George, why really do you really think gay men love theater so much honestly it's not such a stereotype well, uh, it's like you know uh, because it's audience into the competition of life as uh, as it's played out in on the basketball court we see the um, resonance of life in our own terms like you know the journey's end i just asked a question <laughs> He just answered it. I don't understand it's the answer. It's their sports, is well, what he said. Sports, you want you musicals know. more but, than a play. No, well, musicals, too, like company is about this uh, guy who remains a bachelor into his late 30s, and all his friends are getting married, and he sees the uh, dysfunction of marriage. Uh, see, musicals are brutal to me. I can't deal with a musical. Well, oh, you like uh, Jersey brilliant. Boys. I like the music. I can, you know, listen to a fucking All right, tape. let's move on. I just had a simple question. I still don't know the answer. We have a whole dissertation. Right, go, ahead, go ahead, Robin, uh, There's another uh, sex with the teacher scandal. Uh, and another hot teacher. This in chick, the paper today, yeah. This this is some freaky teacher. Good-looking girl in her 20s. Emily Strip, 23. 23, hot, nice hair, the whole thing. Doing She's it been... with her student who's special ed. A special ed Whoa. kid. Yeah. Can you imagine? I couldn't get laid in high school, yeah. <laughs> and this kid is special ed, and he's getting it. Do you have any pictures of her? Yeah. Yeah, in she's in the paper. Yeah. You'd like her, Gilbert. I don't want you to see it. Yeah, You'd no. like her. You're retarded. You'd <laughs> like her. <laughs> You're special ed. <laughs> yeah, the kid suffers from psychological problems. You've got the IQ of a three-year-old. You'd like her. Gilbert, you know instead, what, uh, of, instead of Asian, tell your mongoloid. <laughs> You know, what Gilbert's, you. you know what Gilbert's uh, nickname was in high school? What? Ed. Uh, uh, special Ed. Special Ed. Uh, the two had sex multiple times at the teacher's Bronx home from last October to November, and in the evening and the early morning at the student's Bronx home in December. Doesn't that make you mad that she's with the special Ed kid? Yep. You, you'd no. think she'd do a little, a little better than that. Right. I mean, you, you think she'd hey, do. Hey, buddy, you want retard? <laughs> <laughs> the kid. Now you Watch know you she always. fucking that retard? Oh! You're always saying who's the kid that blows this? You know. Watch he... she blowing that retard? Oh! <laughs> Why would you tell when you're having such a good time? Of course. Well, he did a keep it a secret. Kid. Yes. He denied. Uh, repeatedly that this was going on. She's getting on. down with someone with Down syndrome. <laughs> oh. Are you fucking but, this woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But once the teacher broke up with him, he got upset and he admitted it to his mother that they were getting it on. I was fucking the teacher. I was taking my dick in the teacher, ma. Yeah, he felt jilted by her, so he came. I was jilted by when I was eating her tootsie. So. <laughs> sleep with these kids, you can't break up she with She could them. probably get away with not shaving fully with a retard. <laughs> okay, but did your uh, teachers ever come on to you? Uh, anything else, Robin? Um, Only Mr. Weinstein. Not really? <laughs> Yeah. The Rolling Stone TV show. You remember that uh, movie? It was uh, kidnapping. Uh, it was about kidnapping Mick Jagger. The uh, sitcom. Oh, I was happy to see this. It got canceled. It right? is gone because they couldn't get Mick number one to do anything, and uh, so their big publicity effort was about how they got Mick Jagger to do a sitcom. The original and name. And then he didn't want to do it. The original name of this television show was Robbing. Let's rob Mick Jagger. Right. Okay. Obviously, Jagger freaked out a little bit, and they renamed it The Knights of Prosperity. It was produced by David Letterman's company. Now, they, uh, Jagger agreed to do it, and then when they went to go film him, 
He was he suddenly was nowhere to be found. unavailable. They had to shoot his entire season in five hours. In New Zealand. In New Zealand. They had to accommodate him. So it basically ruined the show. Now, they came to me. All right? They came to me during the production of this and said, what if we called it, let's rob Howard Stern, and we want you to be the star of it. And you said, what are you, a retard? That's exactly what I said. I, I said... I need that like a hole in that. I said, David Letterman's the producer. Why don't you rob David Letterman? Because <laughs> he's already had this happen to him. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, I didn't do it. Yeah, well, it's gone now. The uh, the audience never showed up. Gilbert's, because Jagger yeah, didn't. Gilbert's looking at me like, fuck, didn't you do it? Do yeah. I yeah, do anything. Yeah. I'm a fucking duck on television. Yeah. <laughs>